Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be starting a new series called Bait Spotlight. And today's bait is going to be cream flukes. I've went through a lot of different flukes in the past and cream happens to be my favorite because they sink really slowly and they just seem to have good action and a good weight to them that you can still throw it on a bait caster even weightless. So in today's video, I'm going to go through the ways you can use this bait, the action of it, and also the times that this bait will be useful. So my favorite way to fish it is weightless and Texas rigged. This allows you to have it weedless, but also fish it like a jerk bait. Depends on your preference of action, but I like to do a small twitch and then a big twitch and just kind of repeat that. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do pattern wise with the jerk bait action. And if you don't know how to Texas rig a fluke, go ahead and check out my video on Texas rigging plastics. But simply put, you just line it up like this to where you want it and make it weedless. But another way you can fish it is a bullet weight on the end and still Texas rigged. So that makes it behave more like a jig because if you free line it, then it's just going to sink very slowly like a jerkbait would. But if you add a bullet weight, it's gonna sink kind of like a jig. So you can fish it like a jig too if you want. Uh, those are the two main ways that I've heard of. I've tried both. Had a little bit of success with the bullet weight but most of my success was from the jerkbait action, just weightless. Um, so whichever you prefer, just kind of depends on the conditions too. But let me know in the comments what other methods you might apply to using the fluke. So now we're gonna get into the action. The action is pretty simple. If you jerk it along like a jerkbait, the tail's gonna shake like that. And it's forked too. It's forked like that. So um, in the water, it's going to kind of go up and down too kind of like a fish's tail would. Um, so that's gonna add a little bit of action that tail, but besides that, it's pretty simple and doesn't do much as far as like a swimming pattern if you just reel it in. A lot of it depends on your presentation. So if you're going to fish it like a jerkbait, obviously it's gonna dart. It's gonna dart a lot like a jerkbait would. It's gonna dart in a zigzag pattern and that tail is gonna shake while you do that. Now, if you're gonna fish it with a bullet weight, like I mentioned earlier, again, it's going to sink to the bottom like this, nose first. And the tail's still gonna shake, but it's gonna kinda bounce off the bottom, right? So that action is all in the tail. And you might ask, when will this bait be useful to me? Well, fall is a great time to use this bait. I've had some success recently, even in my last video, uh, with this bait specifically. But the real answer is you can use this any time of year because the fact is bass will always feed on bait fish. So you'll always get bites on this depending on how you fish it. So if the fish are shallow, just free line it. And if the fish are deeper, then fish it with a bullet weight. Um, Cause fish will always feed on bait fish. Now you might want a different color. If your bait fish in your local water isn't, isn't gonna be a white color like that, you might wanna change the color to something that looks like a bluegill or whatever your local bait fish might be. Match the hatch and you'll catch fish on this year round. Now, I will say the best time for the fluke would probably be fall, because that's when bass are really focused in on the bait fish specifically uh, to feed up for winter. So if I had to tell you what the best time would be for a fluke, it'd probably be fall. You can fish it just like a jerk bait, except you can put it through a lot more vegetation and it won't get anything on the hooks because obviously it's gonna be Texas rigged if you are fishing it one of the ways that I mentioned. But that's the beauty of a fluke. You can fish it in a little bit deeper cover than something with treble hook. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this series idea. Uh, I plan on adding to this series maybe once every other week or something like that. Maybe once a month. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. These baits that I'm gonna be putting in the spotlight are baits that I've tried and I know work well. But to anybody who's stopping by my channel for the first time, consider subscribing. I do have videos coming out twice a week, once on Wednesday and once on Sunday, both of those days at 2 p.m. Eastern time.